<laughs> Happy Thursday, you guys. Welcome. My name is Jen, and this is going to be a power flow vinyasa class. Um, I better not play with this too much because we always know it falls down when I do. Um, <laughs> but I will center it on my mat. There we go. 
All right, so I placed a playlist in the description of this video. If you want to use my music, then I give it to you freely. Um, just so you know, all of my playlists, pretty much every playlist I've ever made um, for class is public on Spotify. And I'd love for you to go take them, listen to them, use them in your own classes, your own home practice. Um, there's hundreds of them. Um, so yeah, let's see. We're gonna be doing the usual, some hips, some twists, some balances. Um, yeah, hope y'all are all doing well. Glad to be here with you. Um, my birthday is Saturday. <laughs> so if you wanna donate for class, that'd be awesome. Send us some support for these classes. Um, yeah, we only make money if you donate. So I um, would really appreciate if you felt like paying for class. Cool. All right. Okay. I think I got it. Are we straight? We're straight. Cool, cool. All right. So we're going to get started. Go ahead and hit play on that playlist. And we will start lying on our abdomen, so flat on your belly. Come all the way down. And just take your arms out wide to a T or maybe cactus the arms and turn your head one direction and close your eyes. And just start to breathe into the earth, feeling your lungs press into the ground, your back rise. And then exhale, just softly releasing it, letting it go. And just take a couple slow deep breaths here, just feeling yourself connected to the ground. Perhaps the ground breathing with you. Just feeling your connection to all of life and every living being. Perhaps setting an intention or dedication for your practice today. Breathing it in and then sending it all the way out. Then as you're ready, bringing your chin to neutral, gliding your hands below your shoulders, rolling the shoulders down, inhale, lifting your heart up through baby cobra. And then exhale, lowering down. Turn your head in the opposite direction. Then take this a couple more times. Inhale to lift the heart. Inhale, pull your heart forward, your hands back on the mat. And then exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, lift up through center. Hug your elbows together. Press your toes down and float your hands off the mat. Breathe in. And then exhale, really slower it down. Turn your head to the right, open your arms out to a T like you're giving the earth a big hug. Bend your right knee and roll over to your left shoulder, all the way over to your left side, stepping your right foot behind you. And then just take a nice stretch into that left shoulder, into your chest. Maybe wrap your right arm behind your lower back. Take a full breath in. And exhale it out. Inhale, slowly roll back to center, switching sides. Turn your head to the left. Roll back towards your right shoulder, stepping your left foot behind you. Inhaling. And exhaling. Slowly rolling back through center, onto your bellies. Pressing back to a child's pose. Hips back towards your heels. Extend your arms long. Breathe in between your shoulder blades. Exhale. Inhale, top. Drop your belly, lift your heart, cow pose. Exhale, curl in for cat. Press the ground away. Inhale, scoop up the heart. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, curl in. And now staying in tabletop, take a couple more rounds just to move organically. Don't even call it cat-cow, just 
close your eyes and maybe sway or take a circle with your head and your hips. This might be one of my favorite parts of class. Just no direction. Just moving in a way that's unique to you and that feels good. Just becoming aware of how your body's feeling today. Letting it be a little bit of a dance, a dropping into the moment. And inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your knees just one inch off the mat. Walk your knees forward underneath your belly button, pressing the ground away for this beast pose. Now keep your spine long. Start to hug your hands towards your knees, your knees towards your hands. Three more breaths, squeezing in, hugging the navel up and into the back body. One more full breath in. Pull your heart forward, squeeze hands to knees, knees to hands. One more inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, walk your feet back. Melt one heel and the other towards the ground as you look back in between your heels, dropping your head heavy. Keep in mind in down dog, your drishti is either in between your heels to the back of your mat or even up and in towards your navel. So don't strain the neck to look forward. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Inhale. Pressing into your hands. Go back to the pedaling of the heels and start to nod your head yes. And when you find this rhythmic nodding of the head, pedaling of your heels, just say yes to whatever your intention is for class. Whatever your intention is for the rest of your day and how you want to feel. Say yes. And then find stillness. Breathe in. Breath out. Inhale, lift up to your tippy toes. We'll take a hip dip, turning the toes to the left. Drop your hips over to the right. So left side body stretch really. And then inhale, come back up through center. Your toes turn to the right, your hips dip to the left, stretching your right side. Inhale, come back up through center, lifting up to tippy toes. Step or hop your feet outside of your hands for a yogi squat. Drop your hips. Inhale, lift your heart up towards your thumb, sitting tall. Breathe in. Exhale, drop the pelvic floor, Mula Bandha, hugging the navel into your spine for Uddiyata Bandha. Now breathe all the way down to the pelvic floor. Exhale, drop Mula Bandha, Uddiyata Bandha. One more time like that, inhale. And exhale, release the hands down, turn your toes forward. Bow over your legs. Keep a soft bend in your knees. Maybe sway side to side. Rock some weight forward into the balls of your feet as you lift your tailbone up. Exhale, don't fall in a little deeper to your fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Reach your arms up and overhead. Exhale, grab or take your right arm behind you and take a side bend to the right. Inhale, reach back up through center. Exhale, left arm goes back. Stretch over to your left. Inhale, reach high, look up. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold, bow over the legs. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, roll your shoulders down your back. Exhale, release and fold, hands down. Step your left foot to the back of the mat into a low lunge. Plant your left hand. Open your right arm up to the sky. Take a big open twist. Breathe in. Turn all ten toes to the right. Now dip your hips. Reach back towards your left heel and lift your heart. Inhale to a plank pose. Lower your right hand. Step your right foot back. Top of your push-up. Breathe in. Exhale. Bend your elbows straight back. Inhale. Lengthen your arms. Lift your heart. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Shift your hips up and back. And now we'll keep going just like that. Inhale, lift up to be toes. Exhale, bend your knees, dip your hips right. And through center, exhale, take your hips to the left. Inhale, lift high to tippy toes. 
Exhale, yogi squat, step or hop outside of your hands, drop your hips, lift your heart. Full breath in. Breath out, hands to the mat, forward fold, taking your torso over your thighs. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, stretch to your left, taking your left arm behind you. Inhale, reach high, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step your right foot back, low lunge. Inhale, open your left arm up to the sky. Lift your right thigh, draw your left hip back and down. Then turn all 10 toes to the left, dip your hips. Reach back towards your right heel, lift your chest. Plank pose, step your left foot back. Inhale at the top. Exhale, vinyasa. Press into your hands, lift your heart. Engage the lower belly to lift your hips up and back. Downward facing down. Right, now we'll flip through that a couple more times, moving breath to movement. Inhale, lift up tippy toes. Exhale, knees bend, hips go right. Inhale, left. Exhale, switch sides, take your hips to the left. Inhale, lift high. Exhale, yogi squat, hop outside of your hands. Full breath in, heart lift. Breath out, forward fold. Inhale to stand. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, stretch to your left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, low lunge. One motion, now turn your toes to the right, dip your hips. Inhale to plank pose, right arm forward, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Press into your palms, big inhale. Exhale it out. Inhale, lift up high. Exhale, bend your knees, hips go right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hips go left. Inhale, lift up to be toes. Exhale, yogi squat. Inhale, hands to heart. Lift high with the heart. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, stretch to your left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back. Turn your toes to the left, twisty dragonfly. Take your arms around, step your hips. Inhale to plank pose. Step back, breathe in. Then yes. Fine. All right, so let's take that one more time on each side. I'll get you started. And then you'll take the left side on your own. Inhale, up through tippy toes. Exhale, hips right. Inhale. Exhale, hips dip left. Inhale, lift high. Exhale, yogi squat. Breathe and sit tall. Breath out, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, side bend. Inhale. Stretch left. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot back. Twisty dragonfly, turn your toes to the right. Vinyasa, flow through. Back to downward facing dog. And then keep going. Take the next round, the left side on your own. One breath, one movement. Step your right foot back.
mating back in a downward facing dog or a child's pose as you finish that left round, pausing to find your breath. Feel free to rest at any time if you're staying in down dog. Stay active, pressing the earth away from you. Take another full breath in. Then we'll all meet back in downward facing dog, walking your feet just to the outside edges of your mat, pretty wide, and then walking your hands back a couple inches closer towards your feet. Keep some weight in the palms. Now cross your left hand over to the outer right ankle and take a twist. Root down to the right palm and really activate this twist as you press. And look underneath the right arm, pulling your heart through to the right. One more full breath in. Breath out, release the left hand down. Cross the right hand to the outer left ankle. Grounding down, twisting your heart open towards the left. Another full breath in. And exhale, release the right hand down. Step your feet. Close. Tuck your chin into your chest. This time we wave forward to a plank pose, top of your push-up. Let your head be the last thing to lengthen out. Now hug your hands towards your toes, your toes towards your hands. Scoop your pelvis forward, lengthen out your lower back and let it tremble. Let it shake. I'm starting to pull my mat forward with my toes because the ground is slippery. Ooh, maybe you can do the same if you have wood floors or tile floors. Inhale. Keep your arms as they are. Walk your tippy toes in towards your hands. Top of the mat, forward fold. Bring your peace fingers around your big toes. Padangustasana, inhale, lengthen and look up. Exhale, bend your elbows out to the side and pull yourself in. You can keep the knees bent, but actively pull yourself, abdomen to thighs, head towards toes. Lift your tailbone up. Two more breaths. Releasing the bind. Inhale, lengthen, halfway. Exhale, fold. Rise to stand, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Remembering that intention that you said yes to. Remembering how you want to feel today. Bend your knees, sweep your arms down to the ground. Utkatasana, inhale. Lift your heart and your arms up high towards the sky. Weight back into your heels, sit a little lower. Maybe look up. Full breath in. Exhale it out. Another inhale. Exhale, stay low in your seat. Cactus your arms. Draw your shoulder blades together and down your back. Open your chest. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, clasp your hands. Press your knuckles down. Open the front body. Look up. Exhale, bend your knees forward, fold. Roll your shoulders back and down away from the ears. Drop your head heavy towards your toes. Take a full breath in. Breath out. Hands to your shins. Lengthen halfway. Exhale, vinyasa. Maybe add another chaturanga from up dog as you press back to the downward facing dog. Inhale, extend your right leg up and back. Press out through your right heel. Drive down through your palms. Inhale. Lift the right heel a little higher. Woo. Exhale, right knee to nose. Shift forward. Inhale, extend your right leg up and back. Exhale, shift forward. Step through, low lunge. Inhale, lengthen the left leg. Then lower the left knee down for a kneeling crescent on your neosana. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, scissor your legs together on the mat. Hug your right foot back, your left knee forward. Take another deep breath in, look high. Exhale, hands down to frame your right foot, pyramid pose, lengthen through both legs. Fill your left heel to the mat. Then now lengthen and pull your heart forward. Steer your right hip back. 
your left hip forward. Exhale to fold. Look past your right big toe, breathe in. Exhale, step your left foot back. Sweep your left arm up to a triangle pulse. Lengthen your right side body. Ground down through your feet. Lift up through your quadriceps. Full breath in. Breath out. Inhale, use your core to lift your torso up and back. Sweep your right arm high for a reverse triangle. Inhale to your right inner costals. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step your right foot back and take it through a vinyasa. And we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Once back in downward facing dog, it's your next inhale. Lift your left leg up high to the sky. Extend out through your left heel. Press into your left hand and drive the left heel a little higher. Breathe in. Exhale, need to no shift forward. Inhale, extend your left leg up and back. Exhale, shift forward. Step through, low lunge. Inhale, lengthen the right leg. Exhale, right knee lowers, kneeling crescent. And we'll reach up. Scissor the legs together on the mat. Pulling your left foot back, your running forward. Lift your heart and your gaze, full breath in. Exhale, go deeper. One more here. Exhale, release the hands down. Pyramid pose, steal your right heel to the mat. Inhale to lengthen, steer your left hip back. Exhale, fold forward, drawing your right hip forward. Another full breath in. Breath out, step your right foot back, triangle pose. Sweep your right arm up, left hand on the earth or your shin. As you lengthen your left side, use more core, less reliance on your left hand to hold yourself here in space. Torso long and hovering above the ground. Inhale. Exhale, press into your feet. Lift your left arm up and back. Reverse triangle. Stretch your left arm high. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step your left foot back. Take it through a vinyasa or don't. We'll meet back in downward facing dog. So I'm going to be skipping a few vinyasas today. Again, Thursday is a really interesting day for me. This is my third class of the day already. So I'm going to save my body from too much torture. <laughs> Inhale, lifting up through tippy toes. Exhale, take it forward to the top of the mat. Inhale to lengthen halfway and look up. Exhale to forward fold. Bend your knees, chair pose. Sit low. Inhale, reach your arms high. Lift your heart, your gaze, sit a little lower. Full breath in. Exhale, bend your elbows, open your chest. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, cross the hands, put the opposite thumb on top, the one that feels a little odd. Open your front body. Inhale to your heart. Exhale, forward fold. Bow over the legs. Release your hands to your shins. Lengthen halfway. Exhale, vinyasa. Step or hop back. Meet in downward facing down. Stay with that audible resonant breath. Your ujjayi pranayam. It means victory over the vrittis or the fluctuations of our minds. All right, let's do that again. Right and left side. Adding on a little bit more. Inhale, lift the right leg straight up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Then we're going to kick up and hop. Hop with your left foot. Kick your right leg up for two, for one. Shift forward, step through, low lunge. Lower your left knee down. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat, pyramid pose. Step your left foot in, lengthen through both legs. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Step your left foot back, triangle pose. Sweep your left arm high. Revolve your torso, your heart towards the sky. Breathe in. Breath out. Reverse triangle. Inhale, lift up. Sweep your right arm back. 
Exhale, hands down to the mat, back to lunging, lower your left knee, point to your left hand, sweep your right arm back, open your chest, let your right knee fall out to the side, and then bend your left knee, catch the top of your left foot. Find a little heart opener, a back bend, maybe activate that left side as you kick your left foot into your right hand. Another big breath in. Exhale, release the right hand in front of your right toes. Ardha Chandrasana, lift your left side to half moon. Any variation, maybe you float the right hand off the ground, revolving your body open towards the left and half. Reverse your warrior, step back, land legs in warrior two, right arm reaches up and back. Press your right knee straight forward, inhale. Exhale, cartwheel forward to a prayer twist. Took your left elbow to your outer right thigh. Lengthen that left leg. Really press off the ball of your left foot. Breathe in. Exhale, deepen your twist. Look high over your right shoulder. Take another full breath in. Exhale, look down. Chair pose. Step your left foot forward. Bend your knees. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop back, high to low push up. Inhale, sweeps your heart up to upward facing dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Just like that on the left side. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, left knee to nose. And then give it a kick and a hop with your right foot for two, for one. Shift forward, step through, right knee lowers. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Kneeling crescent, reach up, inhale. Exhale, hands down, pyramid pose, seal your right heel. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Step your right foot back, triangle pose. Reach your right arm high. Look up and expand. Breathe in. Breath out. Root through your feet. Reverse triangle. Left arm sweeps up and back. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Lower your right knee. Your right hand plants. Circle your left arm back and let your left knee fall open to the side. Bending your right knee. Catch your right foot. Deep breaths here. That right quadricep, your hips, your heart. Inhale. Exhale. Take your left hand in front of your left toes. Lift your right side. Stack your right hip. Ardha Chandrasana. Really revolve the heart. Open towards the right. Maybe float your left hand off the mat. Breathe in. And step back, reverse your warrior. Lift your left arm up and back. Press that left knee forward, inhale. Exhale to a prayer twist. Hook your right elbow to your outer left thigh. Heart lifts up towards your thumbs. Deepen on your exhale. Lengthen on your inhale. One more. Hold that in. Breath out, chair pose. Step your right foot forward, sit low. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift your chest, Urva Mukha. Exhale, hips up and back, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. All right. Let's keep adding on to that flow. Inhale, lifting your right leg up high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Give it a hop and a kick for three, for two, for one. Shift forward, step through, low lunge. Lower your left knee. Inhale, Anjane. Exhale, pyramid pose, seal your left heel down. Lengthen, look forward. Exhale to bow. Left foot steps back, Uti to Trikonasana, sweep your left arm high. Inhale, look up. Exhale. 
Reverse triangle. Sweep your right arm up and back. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Lower your left knee. Sweep your right arm back. Catch your left foot. Lift your heart. Squeeze the left heel. One more breath. Exhale, half moon. Right hand in front of your right toes. Lift your left side. Stack your left hip. Open on top of the right. And then you step back and reverse your warrior. Right knee bends. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Exhale to a prayer twist. Hook your left elbow. Twist to your right. Breathe in. And big breath out. One more like that. Inhale. And exhale, rise to stand. One leg in Tadasana. Left knee lifts up. Drive down through your right foot. Breathe in. Exhale, float your left toes slow as you can to the back of the mat, landing in a high crescent lunge. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, drive the left knee up. Dancing to Shiva, take a twist to your left. Left arm goes back. Maybe you grab your left foot or your left knee. Open it out. Inhale. And exhale, release and catch your left foot with your left hand. Point your left knee straight down. Reach your right arm up. Insert pose. Kick your left toes up to the sky. Bring your heart forward. Inhale through the nose. And exhale, release. Step back, hands to the mat. Side plank, turn your toes to the right. Right leg goes on top. Maybe float the top leg. Inhale. Right hand lowers. Kick your right leg out to the left for a fallen triangle. Press your hips up. Inhale, exhale to a pigeon pose, bend your right knee, lengthen your left leg, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift back up to your hands, tuck your left toes and your right leg up and back to a three-legged dog, press through your right heel, exhale, shift forward, step through, chair pose, bend your knees, sit low, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale to stand. Exhale to vinyasa, forward fold. Follow your breath. In and out through the nose. Inhale, lift your left leg up high to the sky. Exhale, left knee to nose, shift forward. Inhale, oh yeah, you give it a kick for three. And a hop for two. One more, kick it up. Exhale, shift forward, step through, lower your right knee down. Inhale, kneeling crescent, reach high. Exhale, pyramid pose, feel your right heel. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Triangle pose. Inhale, sweep your right arm up. Uti to Trikonasana. Breathe in. Breath out. Reverse triangle, left arm lifts up and back. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Right knee lowers. Take your left arm back. Let your left knee fall open as you catch your right foot. Squeeze your right heel in. Give it a breath. And then exhale, release left hand in front of left toes. Half moon, lift your right side. Revolve your right body open. Lifting your gaze. Inhale. Reverse your warrior, step back. Inhale, lift the left arm high. Exhale, take a prayer twist to your left. Hook your right elbow. Press your hands and deepen your twist. Another deep breath in. And exhale it out. One more inhale. On your exhale, stand. Sweep your arms up. Lift your right knee. One-legged mountain. Inhale. Exhale, float your right toes slow and controlled. Step them all the way back. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, drive the right knee up. Add a twist. Dancing Shiva, take your right arm back. Maybe grab for the outer right foot. Extending it out, looking back at your right thumb. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, release. Catch your right foot with your right hand. Lift your left arm straight up. Press your left toes down and give your right toes a kick up towards the sky. Mm 
Another full breath in. Release, hands down to the mat. Turn your toes to the left. Vashi Stasana, side plank. Lift your hips up. Maybe flip that top leg, breathe in. Kick the left leg out to the right, fall in triangle. Press your hips high, inhale. Exhale, pigeon pose, bend your left knee. Lift your heart. And exhale to fold. Inhale, lift back up to your palms. Three-legged dog, extend your left leg up and back. Exhale, shift forward, step through, chair pose. Right foot meets the left. Inhale, reach your arms up. Uh, staying here now, take a deep breath in. Exhale to sit a little lower. Full breath in. Breath out, lift up to your tippy toes for a toe stand. Spike those heels up. Straight over the ankles, over the toes, inhale. Exhale, divers, straighten your legs. Reach your heart forward, sweep your arms back. You got it. Turn the corners of your mouth up towards your eyes and then press your pinkies, pull them together, inhale. Exhale, go back to chair pose, sit low, reach up. Exhale, toe stand, lift the heels. Really try to float them as high as you can, all the way up to the balls of your feet. Big breath in. Exhale, divers. Sweep the arms back. Reach your heart forward. Reaching, reaching. Taking the shoulders down the back, activating your core. One more full breath in. Exhale, lower your hands, bend your knees right into your armpits for a crow pose. You're already there. Bend your elbows straight back. Look forward and lift one or both feet. Two more breaths. Step or shoot your feet back. Take it through your vinyasa. We'll meet back in downward facing dog. From down dog, lower your knees to the mat. Sit your hips back towards your heels. Rest on your shins for a moment. Returning to your intention, to your dedication for class. Take another full breath in. And exhale it out. Inhale, come up to stand on your knees. Tuck your toes under. Sweep your arms up, big breath in. Exhale, sweep your right arm back for an open twist. Drop your right hand down to your right heel. Press your hips forward. Lift your heart. Maybe let your head fall back. Inhale, sit your hips back to your heels. Sweep your arms down. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, open twist. Take your left hand back. Drop your left hand to your left heel. Press your hips forward. Lift your heart. One more time each side. Hips go low. Arms sweep low. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, open twist. Right heel and drops. Heart lifts. Inhale. Exhale, hips go low. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist. Left hand back. Lift your chest. And exhale, release. Down dog. Tiptoeing your toes forward to the top of your mat. Inhale to lengthen halfway. Exhale to fold. All right, we're going to take it through one more time on each side. Starting in chair pose, bend your knees, sit low. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, stand. Exhale, vinyasa. Flow it out your way. One breath, one movement. Meeting in downward facing dog. Inhale, extend your right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Give it a hop, a kick for three, two, one. Shift forward, step through. Lower your left knee down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, pyramid pose. Lengthen through your legs. Breathe in. Breath out, fold forward. 
Step back, triangle pose. Inhale, lift your left arm high. Exhale. Reverse triangle, right arm reaches up and back. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Lower your left knee. Take your right arm back. Maybe catch your left foot. Lift your chest. Inhale. Exhale, half moon. Right hand forward, left side lifts. Stack your left hip, breathe in. A breath out, step back, reverse your warrior. Inhale, sweep your left arm up in, or your right arm up and back. For your twist to your right, hook your left elbow, lengthen your left leg, breathe in. Breath out. One more inhale. Exhale to stand, drive your left knee up. Inhale, root through the right foot. Exhale, step the left toes slow all the way back behind you. Inhale, inhale. Exhale, dancing Shiva. Open and twist to your left. Big breath in, stand tall. Exhale, catch your left foot. Give your left toes a kick up to the sky. Reaching your heart forward. Inhale. Exhale, hands down. Side plank to your right. Maybe grab your piece or your toes with your right hand. Lift your right leg up. Inhale. Exhale, fall in triangle. Kick your right leg out to the left. Lift your waist. Exhale, pigeon pose. Heart lift, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up. Three-legged dog. Send your right leg up and back. Extend out through the right leg. Exhale, step through. Chair pose. Sit low. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, cactus. Inhale to stand. Exhale to to vinyasa. Meeting back in downward facing dog. Keep flowing with your breath. Inhale, extend your left leg up and back. Exhale, need to know last time we hop for three, for two, one more for fun. Exhale, shift forward, step through, right knee lowers, feeling crescent. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, pyramid pose. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Triangle pose. Inhale, sweep your right arm up. Reverse triangle, lift your left arm, stretch up and back. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Lower your right knee. Take your left arm back. Catch your right foot. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale. Left hand forward, half moon. Lift your right side, stack your right hip open, breathe in. Breath out, reverse your warrior, bend your left knee. Sweep your left arm up and back. Exhale, prayer twist, take it to your left. Hook your right elbow, deepen on your exhale. Full breath in. Exhale to stand, lift your right knee up. Root and stand tall, breathe in. Exhale, step the right toes slow and controlled all the way to the back of the mat. Inhale. Exhale, drive the right knee up. Dancing Shiva, twist to your right. Maybe grab the right foot. Inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Take your hands down. Turn your toes to the left. Maybe you grab your left big toe and lift your left leg up. Inhale. Exhale, fall in triangle. Kick your left leg out to the right. Lift your hip. Exhale, pigeon pose. Breathe in and bow forward. Inhale, lift up to your hands. Three-legged dogs and your left leg up and back. Press it out and then step through. We'll meet in the chair pose. Top of the mat, bend your knees, drop your hips. Here we are again, last time you guys. Taking it into that little toe stand, float your heels, lift up to tippy toes. You got it, lift the heels a little bit higher. Can you get right on the balls of your feet? Working all those tiny little stabilizer muscles, stay here and take another deep breath in. And then exhale back to diver's pose. Lengthen your legs, sweep your arms back, reach your heart forward, you got it. One more, full breath in. Exhale, go back to chair pose. Sink your heels, sit low through the leg. One more time. Float the heels, toes, stand. Exhale, divers. 
lower the hands, option for a curl pose. Take it through a vinyasa. You finish it off however you like. You've got several rounds of breath. Amazing work, you guys. All right, lower your knees down to the mat. Come into a child's pose. Let's meet there. Just slowing down, calming the breath here. And then inhale, we'll just lift back up. Lengthen your legs back behind you. Come back onto your abdomen just where we started class. Interlace your hands at your lower back. Roll your shoulders back and down. Juice your knuckles back. Lift your heart up. Maybe float your feet, pointing your toes straight back. Inhale to lift. Exhale. Another full breath in. Exhale, release and lower it down. Good. Bend your knees. Reach your hands back. Clasp your ankles. Flex your feet. Point your knees straight back so their hips width distance apart. And then kick up. Soles of the feet straight up towards the sky. Lifting your heart. Rolling the shoulders back and down. Take another full breath in. And then exhale and release it all out. One more time. We'll take bow pose again. Option to grab the ankles or the tops of the feet, whatever you prefer. Point the knees straight back, just hips with distance apart. Inhale, lift up. Give it a full breath in. And then we're going to roll all the way over into our right side. Give your feet a kick. And then roll back to center, press up. Exhale, roll all the way over to your left side. And then come back up through center one more time. Give it a lift. And exhale, release. Take your arms by your side. Walk your hips side to side. And just relax here for a moment. Plant your hands, press back to child's pose. Knees together to support your lower back, stretching. Creating space where there was contraction. And how to lift up. Let's take the legs out in front of us. Grabbing for the backs of your thighs. Start to rock and roll up and down the length of your spine. Now let this be an active present roll. Let the ground massage your back body. Your legs go long, maybe back to a plow pose behind you. Next time you come forward, lengthen your legs. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then exhale, forward fold. Bow in. Lengthen and pull your heart forward. Exhale to fold. Just take a couple slow deep breaths here in between your shoulder blades. Exhaling, softening, going a little bit deeper in. And just listen to your breath, close your eyes, accessing your deepest breath, 360 degrees into your back body, your front body, down towards your diaphragm, your kidneys. Another full breath in. And exhale it out, lifting up to a seat, plant your feet, take your hands back behind you, reverse tabletop, inhale, lift your hips up, activate your glutes, press your hips up to the sky, let your head fall back, full breath in. 
and breath out, lower down, take your right shin in front, sweep your left leg back for a pigeon pose, inhale, sweep your arms up, take Kali Mudra, point your index fingers up towards the sky, lift up through your inner thighs, squeeze in, breathe in, exhale, release, keeping the bind, reach forward, 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 and all the way down, turning your palms up to the sky, and just settling into your pigeon pose here. There's a story of a man who got caught in a flood. The waters were rising all around his house and his neighbors started to come by and said, come on, man, let's get out of here. Let's get to higher ground. At that point, he had taken refuge up on his roof and he said, no, I'm going to stay here and wait for God to save me. And it kept raining and pouring and the waters were rising. A little while later, a boat came by. And they yelled at the man. They said, come on, man, let's go. Get down from there. Get in the boat. We're going to get you out of here. He said, no, I'm going to stay up here and I'm waiting for God to save me. So the boat went on and the waters came up and up and up. And they were about to crest over the top of the roof when the helicopter came. The helicopter threw down a ladder and said, come on, man, it's time to get out of here. Let's go. We're here to save you. And he again said, no, I'm waiting for God to save me. And he lift back up, roll to your right hip, bring your left leg forward, take your hands behind you, bring your feet a little wider than your hips as you windshield wiper your knees from side to side. And then we'll switch to pigeon pose on the left side as you're ready. Left shin forward. Right leg goes back. Inhale, lifting your heart up. Exhale, fold forward. Settle in. Slow, deep breath. So pretty soon the waters came up and the man got swept away. He was ushered to the other side where he soon met God. God said, what happened, man? The man said, well, I was waiting for you to save me. God laughed and he said, I sent you your neighbors to can save you and then I sent you a boat and then I sent you a helicopter the man bowed his head silence so often we don't want to take the help the help of our intuition, of trusting ourselves, of redirecting our decisions or our path. Because we've decided that it has to be one way. But all too often, another opportunity arises, whether it be an out a shift, a way to save ourselves. It might not always be easier, but there's always a way. And sometimes it might involve letting go of your original plan. So take a moment here to just listen in stillness and listen, really listen. Maybe there's a boat waiting for you or a helicopter waiting to pick you up and take you on to the next place. 
out of the place that you're at, out of the depression, out of the worry, the anger, the fear. When you're ready, slowly lift up and come back up to a seat. Bring the right leg forward and roll onto your back, giving yourself a hug. Take your knees over to the right for a twist. Open your arms. Look over your left fingertips. When you're ready, slowly come back to center and switch sides. Take your knees to the left. Look to your right. Slowly, consciously slowing down your breath. Really savoring it. When you're ready, come back to center. If you'd like any other final postures today, feel free to take them now. Maybe a happy baby or a shoulder stand or a plow pose. Maybe nothing at all. Just listen. And as you're ready, whenever you're ready, we'll just meet in stillness. Closing the eyes, that might look like Shavasana, might look like a seated meditation. Relaxing, closing the eyes. Letting any remaining tension soften and drain out from the body. Allowing the body to relax, spread out across the ground like water. Relax the skin on your face, smoothing the place in between your eyebrows, separating your teeth, softening your jaw.
feel free to stay here however long you need. If you're ready to reawaken, start to deepen your breath. Take a full body stretch. Reach up and overhead. Point your toes. Big breath in. Exhale, bend your knees. Draw them in and roll over to a fetal position on one side, just letting the ground hold you for a moment. As you're ready, pressing up to seats, and just welcoming yourself back to the day, back to your body, sitting tall, and just noticing how you feel. Remembering the intention that you set for class, extending it out into the rest of your day or your week. Take a full breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Thank you all so much for showing up today for yourself and for the greater good of all. All the love and light within me bows to you and honors all the love and light within each and every one of you. Namaste. All right, you guys. Sorry, I didn't know I lost you there because I wasn't looking at the camera. <laughs> So if you're still there, thank you so much. If you'd like to donate, you can Venmo me at Wild Acorn Jen with two N's. Um, if it asks for my phone number, I've given you the last three digits there in the description for the video. But again, um, we don't make anything off this unless you donate. Um, and I'd really appreciate it. Um, so thank you for showing up. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Um, that's all we got. Be well. Bye, y'all.